You're watching the Daily Market Comment for Thursday, January 27th by Raf Boyajian. I'm Christina Marujos and thank you for joining us at XM.com. Fed Chair Jerome Powell left investors in no doubt that borrowing costs are set to rise in the coming months, leaving the door open to both a faster and steeper pace of rate increases. As expected, the Fed on Wednesday gave a clear signal for a March rate hike, but there was no discussion on shrinking the balance sheet, a decision which will be made at the next two meetings. However, markets were startled by Powell's complete shift in tone on inflation, with the Fed chief not sounding optimistic on the supply chain issues being resolved quickly. On the other hand, his remarks on the labor market couldn't have been more bullish. That can only mean that bringing inflation back down to 2% is now the Fed's number one priority. Fed fund futures are now pricing almost one additional rate hike for 2022, lifting the two-year Treasury yield to a fresh 23-month high today. But the 10-year yield eased off from yesterday's spike, suggesting there's some worries around the longer-term U.S. growth outlook for much tighter Fed policy over the next few years. Nevertheless, the jump in short-term yields boosted the U.S. dollar, pushing its index against the basket of currencies to six-week highs. Meanwhile, the modest moves in the 10-year treasuries may have staved off a massive panic on Wall Street. Although all of Wall Street's main indices took a dive after the Fed's announcement and Powell's press briefing, the losses were contained for the Dow Jones and S&P 500. The tech-heavy Nasdaq even managed some marginal gains. In contrast, stocks in Asia plummeted today. Microsoft's earnings beat injected some optimism into U.S. equities on Wednesday, while Tesla's solid results after the market close might be aiding Nasdaq futures to edge up. Earnings will remain in focus later today as Apple is scheduled to report its results after the closing bell. Overnight, stronger-than-expected CPI figures out of New Zealand failed to lift the Kiwi, which has plunged to 14-month lows versus the greenback. The euro also took a heavy beating, but the Canadian dollar managed to steady from earlier lows, as the Bank of Canada flagged a rate hike at its next meeting in March yesterday. This was the Daily Market Comment. Thank you for watching at XM.com.